Thank you, Gavin. Well, as Gavin says, I am an Irish Republican. So it's safe to say that speaking in Westminster has not been my life's ambition. <laughs> but this issue is so important to me that I felt I had to come here today. It saddens me greatly that the title Irish Republican has so often been abused and misrepresented since Theobald Wolfe Tone the father of Irish Republicanism, founded the United Irishmen in Belfast in 1791 on the core Republican principles of freedom, equality and fraternity. To subvert the tyranny of our execrable government, to break the connection with England and to assert the independence of my country, these were my objects, he said to unite the whole people of Ireland, to abolish the memory of past dissensions, and to substitute the common name of Irishman in place of the denominations of Catholic, Protestant, and dissenter. These were my means. My object is to keep abortion out of my part of Ireland, and I am proud to be here today with my fellow Catholic, Protestant, dissenter, and other citizens to assert the right to life of our pre-birth babies. My means are to affirm the hard-won democratic and independent authority of our devolved administration to legislate on this issue and to frustrate any attempt to surrender that authority to a British government whose 1967 Abortion Act has legalised the killing of nearly 9 million of its pre-birth subjects, more than four times our population. Before 1967, abortion was illegal under the Offences Against the Person Act of 1861. Abortion still is what it was then, and always will be, an offence against the person, the taking of another human being's life. From earliest times until 1965 in Great Britain, the death penalty was imposed for murder and other serious crimes. Two years after legalising abortion, the British government abolished the death penalty. Speaking in favour of abolition, Mr. James Callaghan argued that research into the growth of violent crime in Britain would offer more long-term hope than the despair of returning to hanging. Surely, human society today can do better for mothers than the despair of resorting to abortion the death penalty for babies. Amnesty International continues its campaign against capital punishment. We firmly believe that no one, including any government, they say, has the right to take away someone else's life. Incredibly, they now support the right to take away the lives of the most innocent, the unborn child. In 2010, English and Welsh taxpayers paid 118 million for abortions, of which 75 million went to private clinics. That amount of money annually could give proper health care to mothers in even the most difficult of circumstances and save the lives of millions yet to be born. The Irish Republican revolutionaries of 1916 reiterated the pledge of the men of 1791, guaranteeing religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens, and resolved to pursue the happiness of the whole nation and all its parts, cherishing all the children of the nation equally. 
the equality which they and the men of 1798 envisaged was true equality, not a cheap equality, or freedom at the cost of our brothers, and in this case, our children's lives. Thank you.